Hey guys, thanks for stopping by New York's Beer Reviews today. There we go. Hold on. Today's beer is another one of uh, Other Half Brewing Company that my boy Mike from uh, my job sent to me. Thank you so much, Mike. Mikey. Um, this is the Other Half Brewing All Cashmere Everything. This is a Imperial India Pale Ale. Coming at 8.5% alcohol. It's a pint can. Just it's basically a plain can. Just a plain can. Nothing really. There's no barcode, so I can't take it back to get the five cents. Um, the only thing I have to pick about this particular one is there is no date on this one. There was a date on the last one. So there is no date on this one, but I'm trusting my buddy Mike here that it's fresh. So that's going to cost them a point on this one. Um, there really isn't much to actually talk about. These beers are um, from a brewery that comes out of Brooklyn, actually. Right? Brooklyn, New York? Yeah. Brooklyn, New York. There's n no score on Beer Advocate. <coughs> the commercial description is, Cashmere is quickly becoming one of our favorite hops. Because that's apparently all they use is cashmere hops. This beer has a fruity pebbles kick with a sweet lemon character. Um, so yeah, they don't really have any commercial descriptions. There's nothing else I can really do or talk about other than uh, to put it in the glass. I'm gonna give a kind of. Uh, I feel like this isn't going to be a lactose style beer. Or maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong. I usually tend to be wrong. There we go. Um, so this is actually a little bit more to the juice murkiness than the last one. I got about a finger of head on that pour. Um, <coughs> very, um, very creamy style. Uh, creamy, yeah, creamy. Nose. It was an interesting. Very, very citrus forward. Like, okay, so the last one was, you know, citrus, pineapples, mangoes, pineapple, you know, melons. Well, well, maybe not melon, but very, very acidic fruits. This is, um, Yes, obviously citrus is to say very, very orange, very orange, orange grapefruit, lemon, lime, not much mango. There's not much of those um, on that spectrum. Um, just really that. That's really all I'm getting. <coughs> very good. It smells very good in the glass. Um, let's add a little bit more. I was able to fit the whole pint in here. I am so proud of myself. Um, maybe a tad bit of uh, honeydew. And that's about it. Uh, maybe a, also a slight hint of some white bread from the malt. Some toasted, lightly, very lightly toasted. Um... I know they use they do use lactose, I think, <coughs> on this beer. I think. Ingredients? Well, my, probably not. It doesn't say. It said lactose in the last one. This could be just be an unfiltered style. No, this is the unfiltered. You can actually see. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. If you can see right there at the bottom of that glass, those floaties. Cheers. Very lemony. Mostly lemon. Hints of grapefruit.
A little lighter, not in the body, but almost in the, okay, maybe a tad lighter in the body than the last, uh, <coughs> last beer we did. Um, that was the Space Dream, I believe. Um, very lemony, not much else. Grapefruit. You could taste the sweetness from the malt. You could taste more. You could actually. You taste the best. The way I could call it is like simple syrup. Um, it's um. You get the sweetness, but there's no flavor behind it. If you know what I'm saying, there's no malt flavor. There's a little bit of malt flavor, but. I like the last one we did better. Don't get me wrong, this is much better than any of the other IPAs that we've reviewed. It almost has like a piney bitterness. See yourself. <laughs> um, then again, I don't know how long it's been in the can. Like I said, there's no date on the bottom of the can. Although I trust my friend that he's not going to give me a bad IPA. Um, on the note, you get mostly orange. Slight hints of orange, slight hints of lemon. Not too overly powering, not very bitter. Um, it's an okay beer. Um, I like the other one better. I don't really, I've never really tasted anything with cashmere hops in it, I think, to my knowledge. <coughs> I'm not sure if there's, if it's all cashmere. Or some citra versus, I mean, like, let's take a look. Cashmere hops. The uh, complex of them is a citrus and tropical fruits. Um, okay. I believe it. I just don't taste it. I taste a lot light, light, lightly, so. I mean, it wasn't dry. I like dry hopped beers. <sighs> Honestly, I'd rather have a high lie than this. I can the high lie is a bit more fruitier. It has um. This is very creamy. Um, from the unfiltered and problem. I mean, I don't think there's lactose in this, so it, I would just say it's just um, has a creamy mouthfeel. But I'd rather have the highlight because the highlight has um, wow, that was impressive. <laughs> Watching AGT, America's Got Talent. Um, I'd rather have the high lie with the less alcohol, but it, I honestly think, oh, she has a nice body to her. Oh, uh, yes, that happened. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, it has a, it has a less body, it has more of a medium body, and this is full. Um, it's lighter than the other one, but it's. <laughs> it's more fuller than the highlight. And I feel like the highlight has more citrus than this. The other one had more citrus than the highlight. But the highlight has more citrus than this. Um, Would this be a beer I'd get in a bar? 
Yeah, I get it. And I like it, but I'd only get it if it's the most citrus one they had. If you feel me. God, I got the hiccups. If you feel me. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's all I'm getting, really. Let's see if we can get any more. Slight more characteristics. Um, that's it. Uh, overall grade. Okay, for beer, I get about get about seven or eight for an IPA. Get about a seven. Seven or eight for an IPA in this kind of style in the East Coast, the, you know this kind of style IPA, a hot bomb. Uh, <coughs> as it is now, I'll give it a four. Uh, I I'm not sure if it's a. I don't think it's an old batch because I'm not getting a malt bomb. I know the other ones are in bottle at twelve thirty. So, <coughs> so. It'll get, it gets a four to five for the hot bomb IPA. And you know what I mean by the hot bomb IPA. Uh, but that's it. No more, no less. Brooklyn. Yeah, tell them, Howie. Fucking. Let's see, how much time do I have left? Well, I'll, I could use up all the time, because I can't go past 15 minutes. I have two minutes left, actually. Um, I just tasted more citrus on the last batch. That's it. Um, my next two beers from this is going to be even higher alcohol. I think one's a 10 and one's an 11.5. Look at this. Look at this shit. Sanders. Bernie, baby. Sorry, Jay. But then again, I doubt you're going to watch this one anyway. Because you can't get this in Louisiana. <coughs> anyway, that's it for this review, guys. As always, if you like the reviews, please rate, comment, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching. Vsauce, bye! Even though I'm not Vsauce. Vsauce is Vsauce. Well, you're technically Vsauce. But Vsauce channel is Vsauce. It's just a really good... For all you guys that want to learn about science and stuff and just how things work, you know, how the, like why things are, this is actually good. I'm actually promoting a channel right now. So he should probably like promote mine, even though he doesn't even know who I am. But... All you guys, check out Vsauce. Check out the only Vsauce. You can check out Vsauce 2 or 3, but I would just check out Vsauce for now because Mike is probably the best. He's more entertaining than the others, in my opinion. <coughs> so just check out Vsauce and just click any one of his fucking videos and have your mind blown. And if you smoke weed, smoke weed before you watch him. He's uh, excellent, excellent. He's I, I he's a, he he sounds like he's a physicist, but I don't know. Um, but he's great, and I t I took my ending to like thanks for watching from him, cause he's cool. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Cheers.